Now let me click that back. And we have a cathedral in the area called Cork. We've done Christmas presentations there and services in both uh, 2007 and 2008. And our residential rentals and our commercial rentals for the shops cover all of our tier. So everything that goes into the donation bins goes right to the charity. Yay, Cork! And in March, with our Festival of St. Patrick, we dona donated over 1,000 American dollars to Project Children. That's all from the people who came to storytelling, to music events. It doesn't compare to Relay for Life, but that's so much not chump change. And we are thrilled when people see our vision. Now, the West of Ireland Library and Cultural Center itself began in March 2008. Our CEO is Siobhan McMahon. We call ourselves cousins. We're not actually related in real life, but we have a similar vision. And she offered the most beautiful plot of land. And our library architect was Cunningham Doherty, which some of you might know from the sled list. And it's an organic building. It merges the sea and the sky and the land, as well as elements of ancient and new. And it's carved out in a hillside. At that time, we had storytelling one night a week by Shandon Loring. And now we have storytelling six days of the week. Well, on Fridays, we dance. And we have approximately 25 events per month scheduled at the library and extra events off campus. Our West of Ireland storytellers grew from just Shandon to now eight regulars and a number of guests. And everyone has their own particular specialty. Shandon is our chief storyteller, our Shanaki. And Aoife's specialty is Irish literature and poetry, and she does great work with Edgar Allan Poe. Caledonia does the family favorites. They do special events and odd things here and there. I love Arthurian legends, too. Elder Priestman has this great southern accent, and he does Americana. You should hear him do Mark Twain. It's great. Gracie and Dell, Gyro Muggins, and Lilia Quinnell all have wonderful storytelling abilities, and they do a lot of fantasy and... Uh, science fiction, and we've had Afsana Medaluna, Daisy Blue has been there telling stories, Elegia Underwood, Sir JJ, Kigia and Simeon from Bookstacks, and members of the West of Ireland community. We've had a couple of big events, our Dracula in the fall, Christmas Carol around the holidays, and uh, Grace O'Malley, the Irish Pirate Queen for St. Patrick's Day. And those are big deals, and we, uh, we go all out with those. We're working up another one. And we have lots of smaller events, too. We've done a Peter Rabbit pajama party that was well attended by folks in pajamas and their sleeping bags. Edgar Allan Poe's birthday got us about 25 people. We do stories on other sims. We did Alice's Restaurant, Shandon did, on Thanksgiving morning. And he had like 25 people. And we have special exhibits and all kinds of goodies. Would you like to grow your own library? Uh, let me give you some key points that worked for me and things that I noticed didn't work for me. You can build it, but they will not come. You have to give people a reason to be there. There have to be activities. It is going to take you a lot of work. And you know what? You're going to need a lot of talented people with you, too. You have to have patience. It will not happen overnight. And you need to do a lot of planning. You have to get your mission, your goals, your vision, get everything together there. First thing would be to find the right garden. Ours is a community library, and it is essential, if that's what you want, to find a community that already exists. For me, it was the West of Ireland, which is a good, clean, trendy, fun, friendly place. We have great attendance at music events and a lot of repeat patrons. We don't allow sleaze. We have a low tolerance for nonsense. We have excellent security. We've had women come in, and some guys too, and say they really, really liked coming here because they felt safe and fun. So we've got great customer service. We are into greeting people by name. We back each other up. And you know what? We've got lots of really great friends there. And that makes a big difference, too. I did a survey, and we have some fairly well-educated people in the sim. And that's a nice treat, too. Uh, we don't have a lot of people just standing around 
thinking, oh, well, what am I going to do with my second life? And we have people who care, and they care about the charity, as you can see from the donations that we get, that uh, they care and they donate. And what happens is people get interested. Hmm. It was determined to skip something. I get back. Okay, you need to prepare your garden. Once you've picked out your plot of land to grow this community library, check out your clientele. What do they do for fun? Are they interested in scholarly pursuits or entertainment? I determined pretty early on that my people were not all that scholarly inclined because almost all of them get in on their off time. They've worked all day. They want to do something fun. They want to kick back, put their feet up, listen to a story, dance, things like that. And test drive a few events. Can't hurt. What, what did they like? What did they show up for? What is the competition doing? And do you want to duplicate that? Or do you want something different? I vote for different, but that's okay. If you are not prepared to do it yourself, I'm going to talk a little bit later about collaboration. We'd be more than happy. Invite us in if you want us to come and do some stories sometime just to see if it flies. We have also talked with JJ and Kagia of Bookstacks, and I think they'll agree. It's hard to predict what's going to be a hit, and it's hard to decide what qualifies as a hit. You can get 10 people. You can get five people. If you have five really interested people, that's a good thing. But we'd like to see more. <laughs> we really like to see 20. If there's 70,000 people on the grid, why aren't there 25 who want to talk about this or listen to this? So we have all kinds of things to do with notices, and we can talk about that a little bit later. So once you've prepared the garden, you have to plant the seeds. I'm going to make a very, very controversial comment here. There's a reason that libraries sometimes don't, don't make a hit. All they do is sit there and they put in a couple of tables and chairs and a link to their card catalog. That's not going to get people coming. You need more. You need an activity. <laughs> Avatars aren't going to come in and sit in your library to read a book. Trust me. They're going to come in and they're going to change their clothes if it's an empty space. They might come in with their own little um, cybering HUDs. So you need to create events. And then you need to tend, 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 tend the garden. All kinds of events are good. Book discussions, literary contest. we do storytelling. It is reality, Jackie, thank you. They're going to do what they're going to do in a place that's empty. Also, a place that's empty doesn't evoke interest. We've had a ton of people say that they just heard us telling stories and they came in, which totally blows my mind because I don't, well, I don't have the time to go cruising around the grid. <laughs> We've had things that didn't go over as well. Book discussions don't go over as well with my people. Uh, meet the authors don't go over really well, except with those who are writers. But that's just us. Our people seem to love the storytelling. They like poetry. They like to not have to think, I think. <laughs> We've streamed in music. And over at our booth right now, we have the stream running with some songs in Gaelic. And one of our favorite visitor storytellers, Che Dean, who's not in World too much anymore, I need to get after him to make us another uh, recording. He's got a beautiful voice. I think he's from Galway. I'm not sure. And you need to decide what hours are good. Well, it's great fun, and we love the variety in it, Adra. Um, we need to try and figure out when's the best time for your people. And that depends on where you are. And do you attract mostly Euros? And Brits and Irish, we attract mostly the U.S. people. And most of us have jobs, so we tend to do storytelling at 6, 7 o'clock in the evening on SL time. And it goes over well. We kept trying to uh, appeal to the Euro and British times, and we weren't doing it. So we'll leave that to Bookstacks or somebody else. <laughs> 